Hello YouTube. Uh, my last video was about the uh, about the shared log and exclusive log, and uh, in in my last tutorial, in my last demo, uh, uh, I I have explained about the shared log and exclusive log. What are the difference between shared log and exclusive log, and what are the properties? And uh, I have to perform uh, all the property of shared log and exclusive log in practically, and uh, in this demo, in this tutorial, uh, I will uh, describe about the deadlock and uh, I will uh, try to perform in practically. So, basically, deadlock occur when two or more sessions are waiting for data locked by each other, uh, resulting uh, in all sessions being locked. Oracle automatically detect and resolve deadlock by rolling back the statement associated with the trans transaction that detect the deadlock deadlock so deadlock when occur in the oracle database uh, when uh, there are two or more session are waiting for each resources for each other so and uh, they are use use each so uh, basically, uh, uh, when uh, when I am uh, perform practically, uh, it will uh, easy to explain me to you. So let me allow to perform practically. Uh, so let me connect to my database. I am connecting. I am connected to my database as a CSDBA, and my user is Sys. So in this session my uh, <coughs> connect I am going to connect to my another user which called Scott where uh, the table select start from depth in the depth table there are four row if I am going to update set the name equal to admin where dep number equal to 10 right so my one row is updated select start from depth so my data is admin name now while wow. so where is uh, in 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 just few minutes ago uh, the, the department uh, who's department number 10 and dname was dname was raj but after effecting after uh, executing this uh, update command then uh, uh, the dname will be dname uh, will uh, admin so now i am uh, going to open another terminal in this session also log into my database as a csdba and My user is says and and I am updating score dot depth set dynamic equal to I am updating uh, depth depth table uh, which store in the Scott schema and uh, I am updating the different row now okay dynam account where depth number equal to twenty. So, in my first session, I update the row whose uh, department number was 10, and in this session, I am update update I am going to update a row and set the name account whose department number is 20. Did account. So now, I, if I am hit enter and it shows me shows me that one row or one row updated. So, I uh, so uh, till now I am updating same table but different row. So, both and both session uh, can successfully update the data. If I check this data, updated data. So, so. 
so I can uh, department 20 there is account account information so now in my first session again a update depth set location equal to CSD where depth number equal to 20 so uh, one thing uh, there is one important thing is uh, I am updating <coughs> I am uh, updating my first session and who uh, my, I'm updating in uh, from first session and uh, who and that's row which row I updated previously in my second session so now I am going to update location of the depth table and on the same department 20 and same row which is already updated by the my uh, second session so uh, there if I hit enter there will be lock there will be lock occur and uh, uh, I am hitting enter my this session is locked and this is the row level lock so this is occupy and uh, so if I uh, perform here commit or release or rollback then my first session will be released but uh, now the lock is uh, there is a row level lock arrive but uh, now at the same time if the uh, my uh, session to uh, update a location equal to Delhi where depth number equal to 10 so what I am going what I am doing I am doing I am updating uh, location in which row uh, in, in 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 that row in that row and uh, which row I, I already updated by my session number one so I am updating daily location and which is already used by the uh, my curry which used by my uh, session number one so and uh, in my first session so uh, when if I uh, update this location of the department 10 uh, then uh, so uh, waiting state and this resource is already used by the first session so this session already waiting for the resources and uh, uh, I am going to update the uh, an, another transaction different uh, another transaction to access the resources of the first session so in that case uh, both session uh, are waiting to each other for the resources so now when I press the enter in the first session there 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 I can uh, there I can see uh, there appear a message and the message was deadlock detected while waiting for the, for resources so uh, so deadlock occur when uh, two or more session are waiting for the data log for each other and in that case in oracle the automatically uh, deadlock automatically arrive and my two session and both session are waiting for each other for resources so uh, there is a error occur and deadlock so deadlock condition and but in the first session already uh, and it remain remain in lock stated if you want to release the log of the session uh, you can perform your commit or commit or rollback then mm, you can say uh, and then uh, I can see that my second session also released uh, it shows the message one row updated in that case you can check uh, the data select a star from this code dot Deb. so I can see that my information is updated so is a daily in the location I have the updated here and uh, department depth updated here and the first row first session if you want to save the changes then perform again commit the changes are saved so one important thing is that uh, 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 just uh, what 
what we just a few uh, few few time ago what we see what i'm uh, we see that our uh, uh, i i'm using here two session and my uh, both session are uh, um, waiting for the resources for each other and while and each other and or uh, and my session one automatically detect the automatically detect the date lock and uh, shows me a error uh, this is the um, new feature of oracle uh, but uh, in uh, new feature of uh, oracle but uh, in other database like ms sql uh, you cannot uh, there is uh, there, uh, there is not that type of feature uh, that auto uh, that uh, ms sql can detect date lock automatically and prevent it uh, but oracle gives this facility yeah, when in my database if uh, their deadlock occur then uh, oracle automatically detect and uh, uh, give a show uh, shows you a uh, shows you a uh, error so this is the beauty of oracle right so uh, that's all uh, my uh, locking session is uh, this is the uh, last the last tutorial of my locking session and I hope it uh, helps you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe.